YouTube, Chad here from Dirt Poor TV. Today what we're going to do is install this B&M Hill Killer Shifter by XDR. Um, we're going to install all this on a RZR 1000. Um, this is just a XP, it's non-turbo, but it should basically be the same um, for all years. Uh, check your years for the manufacturer specification on which B&M shifter to get. So let's get this over here to the bench and check it out and see what we get. Hey YouTube. You this is Chad from Dirt Board TV. If this is your first time watching. If you like this kind of content, please hit that subscribe button. Okay, here's what you're gonna get in your box. Um, a set of instructions. This is the 81168 Magnum Grip Hill Killer Gated Shifter. 2014 to 2020 Polaris RZR 900,000 and Turbo with boot. I do recommend getting it with the boot or you'll be cutting your boot, your factory boot, and they seem to fall apart after that. So you have your shifter and then you have your shift gate couple stickers and that's it so what we'll do here is we'll get this open we'll go over to the machine I'll show you what we have to do on the inside okay let me show you what you've got to do um, remove your seats which I already have one removed because I had to get access to the battery in another video but go ahead and remove the torques here another one on the other side then remove all of your push rivets. And one, two, three, four, five. I believe five total and two bolts. Get those out. Get your boot out. Shove the boot, shove the boot down on the inside. And you really don't have to take the top of this off or anything because you're going to be taking this whole assembly off. So what I'll do is let me get the console out and we'll get back in here and show you what's going on. Okay, I'm going to try to do all this from the driver's side, which in all actuality, I'd be doing it from the passenger side. So go ahead and remove your push rivets and then remove your T30 bolts, which you'll have two of those and I believe five push rivets. So like I said, you don't have to take all of this off because we're really just need to get down here and take the C-clip out of this one and take the pin out of that one right there. So let's go ahead and do that and see if I can do it from this side without losing the C-clip. Boom. Okay, and you do want to save these nylock washers. There'll be one on each side, but we'll get to that in a moment. So now let's go ahead and move on down to the bottom one. And you want your vehicle in neutral when you're doing this. Okay, got the other clip out. So go ahead, and there's a washer also on the bottom one where your cable is. Take that off. Slide your slide your uh, cable off. It's hard to see with this. I'm doing it from this side. There goes one of my washers. Okay, so there's that. So let's go ahead and slide it right off. Okay, so it's off. We do need this piece right here. We're going to go over to the bench and we'll take that out. Inspect your nylock washers. Make sure they're not busted, cracked, damaged. Save all your hardware because you're going to need it. Go ahead and take a 13 millimeter and loosen up this bolt right here and nut and get that out of the way. Now you have your shifter. Now there is a way that the boot goes. You see how I can spin it in there? The long part you want to the back and the way it came in the box it came this way and that's wrong so go ahead and spin it around because you want the short 
part of the hole to be in the front, not the rear. Go ahead and slide that up. Run this through from the other side. Go ahead and tighten that down. Like I said, 13 millimeter. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and throw your gate on. Your gate is going to go like this. Throw your washers in there. Okay, so now we can go over to the machine and we'll set this back in. And then we'll also use the nut, nylock locking nut, and washer to fasten the gate to the actual bracket in the machine. Okay, now we're back in the vehicle. We're going to take the shifter with the nylock washers on there. We're going to slide it on. Make sure you have the right orientation with the gate. Slides right on easily. Let's go ahead and uh, put our C-clamp, or our E-clip, I'm sorry, back on. Okay, that's set. So now what we want to do is we're going to want to take the washer, the locking nut, and the bolt that was supplied in the kit and we're going to attach it the gate okay once you get the nut bolt and washer on go ahead and tighten it down with a half inch wrench and a half inch socket okay and then now we can go ahead and connect the cable and make sure you are in neutral and it should go right on and you have a washer clip okay so there's park it's locked in park it's reverse neutral low won't go into high, you're up for high. We're not, it's not locking into high. Okay, so there, there's park, reverse, neutral, low, won't go into high, you got to pull it up for high, high, reverse, park. To show you how this works with the gated shifter, like right now we're in park, okay, and it can't move. So you pull the trigger, it lowers it down, you move it back, and that is reverse, that is neutral, that is low pull it in that is high now I thought it was supposed to lock itself into high but actually it won't because if it was supposed to lock itself into high there would be another cut here in this gate to allow it to stay into high so now you're in high 
neutral, reverse, low, pull the trigger, park. So everything looks really good. We're going to get this all buttoned up. Okay, this is one of those reasons you watch to the end, because I lied to you earlier. I told you these two bolts down here on the side of the tunnel were T30s. Well, they're T40s. So good thing you uh, stayed to the end. And go ahead and work your boot up around your tonsil. There you go. Get in, try her out. So, park, reverse, neutral, low, high. Reverse, neutral, low. Park. Perfect. If you like this content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Also, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you go to Dirt Poor TV and click on videos. Go through all my videos. I got anything from ATVs, UTVs, dirt bikes. So check it out.